One of these eight astronauts could be the first to go to Mars. They are the latest class undergoing training at Johnson Space Center. Four of the eight astronaut candidates are women. It is the largest class of women in NASA's history. Channel 2's Sarah Donchi reveals what it took to make the cut and their message for other young women. For the first time in NASA history, nearly 60 years of space exploration, the latest class of NASA astronauts includes four women. If you ask them, though, it's not a big deal. Nobody really notices it um, within our class or even within NASA, and you just see it as eight people that are that are working together in a class. But Marine Corps Major Nicole Mann knows her class was decades in the making. We were fortunate enough to grow up in an era where we don't feel that restriction like we did maybe generations past and it's those women that kind of blazed the trails for us. Women like Sally Ride, Judith Resnick and Mae Jemison. We've really come a long way where it, it where gender doesn't uh, matter as much anymore. And Major Mann has some major skills. She graduated from the Naval Academy, has a master's from Stanford and flew fighter jets in the military, the first female pilot in her squadron. Now her training includes underwater spacewalks to simulate zero gravity. It's awesome. It's it's crazy and it's awesome. Plus culture and language classes that will prepare her to work with Russian cosmonauts aboard the International Space Station. I have Russian class after this, then I have a class on ISS systems, and then I'm going to go flying again. Man made the cut from nearly 6,300 applicants. Today she works at the Johnson Space Center alongside classmate Army Major Anne McLean. I wanted to be an astronaut from the time I was three or four years old. Being somewhere that nobody else has ever been always fascinated me. A trip to Florida as a child got Christina Hammock hooked on NASA. We spent a day at Kennedy Space Center and I think from that point on I was just completely enamored by the idea of exploring space. And Dr. Jessica Meir is living a dream she's had since age five. My first real distinct memory of it was in first grade. Um, we were asked to draw a picture of what we wanted to be when we grew up and I remember drawing an astronaut standing on the moon. All four women along with their four male classmates represent the future of human spaceflight. The most exciting thing to me is to be a part of this huge effort, exploring what's out, out there, answering some of these fundamental questions that we don't know. But there will be generations of astronauts to come, and Major Mann says STEM-based classes focusing on science, technology, engineering, and math help lay the foundation for careers at NASA. She encourages young women to dream big, just like she did. If for some reason they're feeling limited or they just don't realize what their potential could be, then it's important that they know that there are endless opportunities for them and that they should never limit themselves. Sarah Donchi, KPRC Channel 2 News.